H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, welcome. Welcome people, welcome. So this is an interview preparation class. This is a, so every week uh, we take up a module and we discuss all possible questions that can be asked on it. So this week people, the module is MS Visio. We'll see what are the possible questions that could be asked in MS Visio. Okay, fine, fine. And people also, the first five minutes will be the same for each and every mock session. The first five minutes will be the same for each and every mock session. So that is people in this first five minutes, I'll be um, making you understand how you should uh, structure an answer, how you should frame an answer. Okay. Always people, whenever we talk about uh, interview, whatever you say, it should match uh, with the things uh, what you have mentioned in the resume. So people always, you have to start with the resume if you want to prepare for interview. Okay. So let's say people, you should be good with resume. You should know what you have in your resume, especially the projects, what you have worked, the clients, what you have worked. Now let's say people in this example, let's say um, we have three projects. Let's say Bank of America, New York. Okay. Let's say Chase Bank. Let's say Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And let's say Wells Fargo. Okay. Wells Fargo. That is in San Francisco. That is SFO. Okay. Fine. Let's say people, these are the three projects uh, we have in the uh, resume. Now let's say people, the question asked is, um, are you familiar with uh, uh, requirement gathering? Let's say this is the question being asked. The question being asked is, are you familiar with the requirement gathering? Let's say this is the question being asked. Okay, how would you answer this? A question of this kind. Okay, so always people first what you do is always you start with a very positive yes statement saying yes, I am good with the uh, um, requirement gathering. You can say I am experienced in requirement gathering or you can say I am proficient okay in requirement gathering let's say people if you're very confident about the question being asked you can use such words which carry a lot of weight let's say people if you're not that confident so you can use bit diluted words like uh, you can say I have an idea about which uh, about uh, requirement gathering you can say um, I am familiar familiar about the requirement gathering okay or let's say um, I have a knowledge okay about requirement gathering okay so people you can choose uh, such words based on uh, the amount of experience you have okay step number two people it is always important that you mention years of experience maybe it might not sound as if it is very important from your point of view but people what about from a recruiters point of view always a recruiter is very curious to know the number of years of exp uh, experience you have on the particular question being asked okay so people let's say if you're very confident you can say i have two years or three years of experience okay three years or two years of uh, work experience okay so let's say people if you're not that confident or if you're not that good with the question being asked okay so you can use um, uh, as an academic experience but you have to somehow you know fit this experience thing people it's always good so you can say i have one year of academic experience it means you know you say that you know in in my school I, I, I we did a project and in that project i used this something like that okay academic one year of academic experience okay step number three people uh, talk about it okay or if you know the definition good you can give the definition so for example in this case we can say and um, that um, visio uh, sorry uh, requirement gathering so we have different techniques like we have interview method like we have uh, web exploring method we have existing documentation method we have uh, chat session we have questionnaires method etc you can just talk about it step number four very importantly people you have to relate so that is you have to kind of give an idea how you used this in different different projects what you have worked so as part of that we can say I've used chat session to do requirement gathering in the project uh, with Bank of America. So I can say um, I've used interview technique. 
okay in the project with chase also i can say in uh, um, wells fargo i used web exploring see see this is how you should be framing your answers okay so people i'll give you three minutes i want you to take this down people three minutes take this down after three minutes people i'll start posting questions on the screen and i expect you to um, write an answer based on the four step uh, structure what i've shown you now so people here comes question number one for the day so the question is so that is people this week will be discussing about possible questions that could be asked based on visio so question number one is do you know ms visio people now these are the projects what you have to assume that is a bank of america new york as a recent most project chase bank columbus ohio as a second uh, project and wells fargo as a first project okay and people will get eight minutes so i see um, my three are saying that yes i'm familiar see okay, see this is a very important tool okay ms visio you cannot say i'm familiar okay definitely you have to use words that really carries a lot of weight okay so this is a very primary responsibility of a pa you cannot say familiar okay and i see um pooja you're not relating to the project correctly please correct yourself okay swati um yeah uh, so i see most of you um you're not being correct in relating okay so people always understand so for every project try to give a different story so for example um, for chase bank you say i did i used ms visio to make use case diagram for uh, bank of america say i did uh, use visio to make markup so let's say in case of wells fargo so you can say i used visio to make activity diagram see try to create a different story for different project okay so let's move on to the next question people okay again this is also um, relevant to uh, um, this one or to say um, visio so people the question is are you familiar with uml that's the question people are you familiar with uml that's the question and you have 8 minutes for this people again i will have my timer on okay people you can really um, get best use of this topic that is today's topic only when you are prepared people always have to come prepared so next week people i'll be will be discussing about questions that could be possibly asked on documentation next week okay next week thursday okay so come prepared anyways people for now the question is are you familiar with uml and you'll get 8 minutes again the assumption of the project will be the same so people let me show you the answer uh make note of this people this should be the answer people this should be the answer uh yeah this time most of your answers are correct yeah anyways people this is my kind of an answer people i don't it doesn't mean that your answer is wrong okay just in case if you have any confusion you can just make note of it kindly take this down people see now um so well these are the uh, possible questions that could be asked on uh, um uh, asked on uml uh, visio people okay there are not many uh, questions that could be asked on this so next you know i have a behavioral question that is tell me about yourself so how would you explain this people uh, believe me nobody is interested to know about uh, the painting competition prize which you might have won in uh, school nobody is interested to know about your fancy dress achievements or nobody is interested in, to know any sports achievements what you have made okay so see as far as this question goes your answer should be uh, that talks about the projects that you have worked that that should talk about the domains that you have worked okay that should talk about any education that is relevant to it it should talk about uh, any certifications that you might have done relevant to it okay something of this kind people okay so people um, first i would like to give you a chance people try uh, say i gave you the pointers i gave you the pointers you need not follow the four step structure what i showed you previously that will not apply for uh, behavioral questions okay so based on the pointers what i gave you people i want you to create create an answer so people the question is tell me about yourself see again you know um, i don't to take the name but uh, somebody has mentioned the percentages of the subjects in his bachelor studies now tell me how is that relevant to ba maybe if you have gained some uh, 
uh, good credentials in B, uh, like uh, project management certification or something, you can really brag about it. But seriously, not the marks what you got in bachelor's or master's, believe me. Okay. Right. Anyways, uh, people, it happens. Okay. Well, this is a kind of an answer. Uh, make note of it, people. So here, uh, I still like try to kind of you know follow the guidelines of four-step structure. Okay. Still, I try to follow. Okay. So people, it's always nice if you have a structure. Okay. Your answer will be structured, isn't it? Okay. So people, this is the, uh, a nice way to say um, for the question what I showed you previously. People, take this down. People, you have two minutes and you can leave the class. I have a next session coming up on the same webinar. And people, like I told you, um, next week we'll be discussing about the questions uh, pertaining to documentation.